Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We're jumping in again and we have a new mod, a huge mod. I'm a few days late to the party. I know it came out a few days ago, but we are using the Retribution mod pack. This is an item pack. Ooh, we're playing as the Keeper. I guess we'll do a bit of Keeper run. Um, We are, yeah, uh, we've also got new characters. So we've got um, Mammoth and Icarus. In fact, I was going to do the Keeper, but why not play as one of these characters? Could be kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so this mod is a huge, 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 huge new mod. Adds 160 new items. It used to be a mod for Afterbirth Plus, but it's only just been updated now. Let's jump in as Mammoth here and see exactly how this character works. I have played this character in um, Afterbirth Plus, but I can't remember um, exactly how. Retribution's characters come with a full set of unlocks. Do you want to unlock some items behind our characters? Um, you can change this later. No, I'd like to have everything unlocked, please. Um, lots of new things here. One new character. Major changes. Total item pool revamps. Okay, interesting. There's a lot of stuff to see here. We're not going to go through all of them now. Um, I just want to go to the bottom and see if there's like a next page that I need to be looking at. But this is a lot of stuff. As you can see, changes on changes on changes. Lots of different things. Lots of tweaks to things that existed in the AB Plus version. Lots of new additions. It's it's actually kind of crazy. Um, this list just keeps going. This list just keeps going. I think this does add some new enemies as well, actually. Um, there you go. So let's just quickly go through the retribution options. The char character info, completion notes, all that sort of good stuff. Mod compatibility. Um... Okay, it seems it's got compatibility there. Then game settings, achievements disabled. Um, okay, we'll leave everything as it is. So we've got this meat grinder here. I'm not exactly sure what it does. We've also got this little swine bag thing here. We'll come into our item room and we have some, some hogs. Hello. Um, also, I've got some new heart sprites. Um, yeah, we got a stack of coins here. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Okay, let's be careful with these fellas. Oh, they, like, this guy dropped a coin. That just gave me money. Um, Try meat grinder, maybe? Okay, so the meat grinder took away some health and um, spawned a little beggar dude here that takes five cent to play. Ooh, okay. Hmm. This is rather interesting. So we don't get items, but we can spawn beggars that cost money to gain items. And enemies can also drop money on death. So now we've got another five cent. I wonder what's the likelihood of these guys paying out. Because this one's just giving spiders, right? I am not 100% sure how we get an item. Oh, what the hell is this banner here? That's, that's kind of crazy looking. Damage is the player spawns a swine beggar. Um... Damage dealt prioritizes red health, does not increase devil chance. Okay, that's fair. We got a golden heart here. Yeah, I really like this, this heart UI um, mod. I've, I've been wanting to use it for a long time, but didn't support modded hearts. But um, someone made a compatibility patch mod for it, so I'm more than happy to use it now. So I haven't seen any other enemies drop coins yet. It was just that one. I'm wondering if that's a, a common occurrence that I'm just getting unlucky with, or if that's a not common occurrence. Another half red heart there. He's gonna try and smack me. Oh, and there's a coin over there that we can't bloody get. I'm not I'm not sure what to think of this character so far. It definitely seems like an interesting concept. I I kinda wish I'd have gotten an item. Um like do I go and play the other beggar again in the hope that it gives me an item? i d I'm not exactly sure what's the percent chance of us getting a payout, really. It might be um might be a little difficult to get a payout from it. Or it might be something that we can do quite a lot with, right? Let's pay into you again. Because that one's only giving me flies and spiders. What happens when I bomb you? You did give me some money back. You also gave me a fling capsule. Which gave me some shot speed up. Okay. Kind of nice. Not quite sure what the capsule's all about, but I'll take it. I'm also going to open up this bad boy. In fact, no, nah, we can't. I was going to say if I could crack that other coin out, but I don't think I can. Just another penny. 
Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how to get items as this character. Maybe I should uh, go and check the mod page and see if there's any description about how this guy works. Because so far, I'm not 100% sure. But that was close. We do seem to start with pretty good damage as this guy, though, which is probably to make up for your lack of early items. So, are we, no are we not going to get any items after this, then? Oh, that was, that was rough. I mean, at least I got this golden heart. Give me some extra money. Another penny there as well. So we do get Cracker Jack still. That's good. So, oh, we get the store credit here. Uh, so we pop another meat grinder. And that gave us a luck capsule. And gave us a trinket. Cartridge. So how do I get other items then? Maybe it depends on the, the, the area that I use it in. I'm going to go and use store credit over in this um, the shop over here. It allows me to buy one thing for free, right? Um, I'll take the boomerang. Boomerang's pretty good because I can get that penny now and a few other things along the way. It's actually a very, very good active to have. Good, good. Right, let's keep on moving on and just try to understand exactly how this guy works. So I can't play him with any less, can I? Can't play him with any less than five cents. Definitely seems like it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to just quickly check the mod page and see if it says anything about the character. Um, it doesn't really say anything specific. It's going to be a little tricky to, to understand, but that's, that's, that's part of the enjoyment of these characters, I think. Getting to know them. Uh, maybe the... Um, maybe the menu gives us some details. If we go over to... Retribution and go to character info, mammoth. Um, starting item, spoil pouch, gives enemies a chance to drop pennies when they die, which disappear after a couple of seconds. Meat grinder deals damage um, and spawns a beggar. To, um, to cost five coins to interact with. Items in the treasure room are replaced with a stack of five to eight coins. Item in the angel and devil room are replaced with an an angelic and demonic swine beggars, which take half of your coins when interacted with. Damn. Okay. Definitely some intrigue here. I did not know the boomerang pierced. Is that something new? That might be something new. I didn't think it pierced. Good for enemies like this that like hop around and stuff. I think the stunning of it is just really strong to be honest. It does a bit of damage as well which is also pretty nice. Got enough money so I'm guessing we want to just use meat grinder whenever possible. I like the fact that they've got, they gave you these little capsule things that can give you damage ups and look upgrades and all sorts. I mean, I imagine it can give you damage ups. It, it's given us two of the stats so far, so I'd imagine that's in there. Ooh, that was a bit of a bad hit there. I don't really mind. So this item room's not really super worthwhile. I mean, I'll still use the key to get in there, but we're just going to get a stack of pennies and we get one of these hogs in here as well, which doesn't seem to do much for us. Good. Seems that the chance to drop a coin on killing an enemy is pretty low. There's another fling capsule for extra stats. Take out the big enemies first. Liking this. This is going well so far. So we can meat grind now. That activated this. I'm just going to get some flies. Give me another fling capsule while we're getting a lot of those. Take out you first. I realize you're going to be a bit of a pain, but I got you. I'll take a pill. Ah, I got rid of that look I got. God damn it. Hmm, okay. Seems like we're going to be pretty light on items as this character. Seems like getting items is going to be tricky. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe we're just getting unlucky with the amount of money that we're getting on terms of drops. Maybe as this character, you're supposed to be getting quite a lot and I'm just getting unlucky. Certainly a possibility. We'll go for another here. I'll blow up this machine in here as well, try and get some money that way. See, it works out. We got healing and money. Now we can play this other two times here. One. I just want to see if play there, there's some damage. I'm guessing we're just supposed to be increasing our stats then with these guys. So far though, good good amount of uh, stats we've gotten. 
I would leave this guy, but honestly, I'm really happy with my active right now. We can't constantly stun him, though. It's not that good. We can, we can do a little bit of stunning with him. I think it's uh, only one in every like, three boomerangs is actually going to stun him, though. The rest, he kind of has like, a cooldown period. But I'm still going to throw it because it deals damage. That was a really bad hit. There you go. Nice one. Didn't get that devil deal. That's fine. Matchbook. Take. And I think we're just going to get going. We could try... And look for um, a secret room here, pause, uh, plausibly. Plausibly, plausibly. Um, I'm guessing it'll be down there. I don't actually know where it'll be, you know. I'm a little confused right now. It could definitely be here. There you go. That is not a very good one for us. I'm going to put my money in there anyways. I just hope for the best. Oh, we got pretty lucky there. There you go. Soul of the Keeper. Soul of the Keeper's giving us a good amount of money as well. Another luck upgrade should help. Yeah, I just want to play into one of these guys enough to see if they do eventually pay out with any items. I'm guessing they have, like, their own specific item pool. And maybe I'm just getting them lucky. Because five cents is quite a lot to pay in. Mimics a stock market pattern with your coins over the first... What the hell? First seven rooms after... Rots after seven rooms, no longer ch I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take it. He did give us an item. Retribution, pride pin. Tears cycle through a set of retribution tear effects. A new effect is chosen every five seconds. It is a quality four as well. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. This is going to be good. This could be really good. We'll take this turnip thing. So far, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on here. Right. So far, so happy. Okay, there's a labyrinth here. Let's be careful of that. Do have this. this is rather nice. We got the iron bar there. Completely missed that. Okay, we got farty effects now. Fart on hit. Oh, they spawn the little clouds as well. Rather nice. We're getting a lot more money from killing stuff now. Very happy about that. And then this time we got yellow tears, which, uh, not quite sure what they do. These linger bean shots are doing a great job. Alright, let's pop you there. This time we get torn pockets, which isn't that good. Book items will refund two charges on use. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and then we've got wrapped tech tears. I'm really liking this. We're getting to see a lot of new tier effects because of this. I like that a lot. Holy shit. That was beautiful. I'm liking these Linger Bean shots. They seem really strong. Which is weird to say because Linger Beans normally dog poo poo. And this one can turn enemies into turds. Still not really found out what my uh, turnip does. Oh damn, what the hell? When did we get this much money? I did not notice we had this much money. This is insane. So much poops. Get another one around as well. They seem interesting. I don't know if they just drop more as this character because they're pretty common so far. But yeah, we got lots of money now. And we get butt bombs this time around. Not bad at all. Look at that. Having piercing on that's so strong. Yeah, I was definitely getting unlucky with the amount of drops I was getting on enemies. It's very clear now. Got these piercing shots here. These yellow shots that seem to give us bees on hit. Okay, I kind of like that. That's cool. Get a bit more money from here. Oh, that's a quite big chunk of money there. I'll hug you as well, my good sir. Just a red heart. Yeah, I like these new red heart sprites. People, let me know what you think of the new heart sprites. I think they're pretty cool. Did not mean to get hit there, but it's fine. I'm not sure what these water shots are doing here. 
And we got mushroom shots as well by the looks of it. Fungal shots. They've got a cool sprite to them. Lots of pills going on as well. Damn, shot speed down. It's not like we had 10 of those. Oh. Got some more B shots here. Ow. Try not to lose our uh, black heart. Let's say that as we lose our black heart. Oh, that's a lot of flies. We <laughs> are. That was beautiful. Those teeth splitting shots are insanely strong. Oh, bugger. Yeah, we're not going to get our devil deal here. I am playing pretty bad. As you can see, I'm routinely getting hit. Routinely. Oh, God. Oh, these shots are like weird momentum shots. That's that's very strange. They kind of like slow and speed up and slow and speed up. You may have spoon bender, but I have destroyed you. Do them one at a time, because we can't kill them quickly anyways. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more health before the boss fight. Oh god. Don't know what these mushroom shots really do, to be honest. A bit hard to figure out. Still got our other item room to find. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I keep forgetting I should really wait for those guys to hatch, to like open up. I think all of the item rooms are just gonna have one of these pigs in. Bit of extra money, lovely. Chest I can't open, not so lovely. You've got care star. I don't really care about that. <gasps> that was close. Oh, I like devolved that enemy into a different one then. Was that something to do with the mushrooms? I had changed the enemy, he made it like D10 shot, which would be weird, but I guess. Good. Go and grab that. I'll go into my shop and try and buy some soul hearts or something here, I think. Twenty percent chance for tier to produce a B. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. I'm gonna pop this now. Let's play you out a little bit. See what we get. Um spot ooh, we got a spindle, nice. Definitely item pool specific. Um spindle. A uh, spot coin, sorry. Monsters may drop spinning pennies on death proportional to their max HP and the current stage. The spinning coin can be picked up but will explode after three seconds. All cursed coins all, all cursed coins dropped by the spoils pouch. I'm gonna give that a go. That sounds interesting. And then these we just pop because it's fun. We, we, we've briefly got Godhead. Take you out. Good, good. So uh, basically we've got coins that are going to be doing some exploding that we have to destroy pretty fast, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. We should be able to get to the boss fight here before our godhead runs out and kill it. Also a spindle coming in clutch again. I love spindle. Spindle's super useful. Nice. We got just a third. Oh, I kind of forgot there was two bosses. We have so many extra items all the time. Ooh. Coming down got updated to include other enemies. I love that. Yeah, we kept Godhead for the full fight. It should run out just about straight away afterwards. Stapler. Lovely stuff. And we head down to the next floor, I think. Going well. Health is not great, but otherwise this is going well. We got an old ch Oh, we get we went down to the next floor just in time to actually get an old chest out of that item. That's so good. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan of you guys, thank you. 
Oh, actually, yeah, he actually get got off. That's cool. This item's created a lot of friends for us right now. Slightly confused. There's some spiders that time. We actually get an item. Soybean. 5% chance of fire tears to activate butterbean explosion. Um, yeah, this is the linger bean shot. Okay, nice. Some really good stuff going on here. A planetarium item should be about to expire any second now. There you go. Yeah, we're getting a little confusing. Ooh, I would like to uh, open that up, but we do not have the keys required for it just yet. So far, this is a very, very interesting build that we've uh, that we've put together with the retribution items. And we're seeing a lot of them, which I like. I also like the fact that one of our bees that spawned was literally just the letter B. That's funny. Good meme. Yeah, keep going. I don't really need to take the pills at this point. Also, my character is looking like an absolute gamer right now. I don't know what's what's got uh, this character in such the gamer mood, but. It works. I've probably seen all these coins explode. Yes! It exploded and actually gave us a secret room. I wasn't expecting that or like planning for that, but that's pretty great. More luck is going to be good. More money. Okay, there's that devolve shot again. You've actually got quite a lot of time to pick up the coins. It's really not that tight of a time period really you've got a good amount of time to get the shot on oh my god coming down mod has been made fantastic it just works on anything that jumps and is go goes into the air now that you can't see above your screen which is just fantastic that's a great 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 idea the fact that some of these shots are just outright turning enemies into poops is great would have been good if I kept um, what's his name though I can't remember the name of the item now. The trinket. Petrified poop. Wish I'd have kept that now. Right. Play out this guy. Oh, we got golden god straight away. Golden god's a lot of fun, but not super useful for us right now. So let's just do this. To get some fool's gold rocks in the house. Use it once. Get a ton of money. And then dip. Could have also made some of the poops as the golden poops. Of course it didn't, but it could have done. Some more money from in here. Not the most valuable thing to do. Oh, it made our uh, ball of bandages gold look. That's pretty funny. Uh, Pandora's box will give us four soul hearts. That is so worth it right now. We have been lacking in the soul heart department heavily. Right. Keep going. Sorry, Golden God, you're a good item, but you're not for us right now. Ooh, I also see this here as well. Small Rock is lovely. Yeah, honestly, item-wise, this hasn't been too bad. I think I just got a really unlucky start to this run. I think I was just getting unlucky and not getting item payouts, but now they're coming up more commonly. We're getting a lot of money um, drops from enemies a lot more than we were initially getting. I think overall, just everything's kind of going as it should do with this character, or more so as it should do. From the first like floor as compared to yeah i didn't ask a question of the day this episode i completely forgot i apologize but the question of the day today um who's someone that you've um that you've recently gotten like very interested in who's like someone from history or just someone that's living now that you've recently taken taken a lot of interest in um Recently, for me, um, I think I, I mentioned in an episode before, um, I went to a funeral just a few days ago for my uh, girlfriend's grandma. It was quite sad, but, well, obviously. But um, something I didn't know about her grandma that it was that she was, like, very, very into um, Egyptian, like, history. And she, ooh, we got brunch here. Um, a simple health up to balance out the pool. <laughs> yeah. Right, what we got in here? Oh, hello. Take, you did, you, they take half your money, don't they? Hey, that's good. Bad apple. Uh, 
Um, no. I've had bad, bad, bad apple before. It's not great. We'll play into this guy here. Give me something. Ah, you bastard. You can bomb them, though, to get a bit of money back. Rather nice. And you seem to get one of these capsules from it as well. Okay, keep going down. Yeah, and I didn't I didn't know uh, um, about her grandma that she was really into, like, Egyptian architecture and stuff. And she'd been to Egypt multiple times when she was younger. And um, there was some Egyptian theming to the funeral. It was, it was very non-traditional. It was very much more of a celebration of her life rather than being depressed about her death. Uh, which was very nice. Um... And it got me kind of interested in looking into um, into some more Egyptian history, which I haven't really done before. Crack that. Got a uh, thingy, Blast D6, which I very much appreciate. We'll hold on to that. Don't know where I'm going to use it, but we could get another active item again, I suppose. I love these pin shots. Got a nice golden poop here. A sticky nickel is going to disappear. No thank you. Or does the quality just get demoted from a dime to a sticky nickel? I think that's actually what happened. I don't think it was. this is the case where things disappear. I love these risky coins. Cool. Good idea. Right, nothing to re-roll in here. Just piggies. I love the fact there's pig enemies. Like, they're not even enemies, they just kind of wander around in the item rooms. It's cool. And he gave us a half soul heart. That got demoted as well. I like the demote curse, it's good. Not gonna go for the exploding coin, I'm a little bit far away for it. I think it'll get me. Pinshot doing a good job. Ow. That was really stupid, but it's okay. We got a lot of money out of it. Got one more room to get another meat grinder going. Lots of brimstones coming in here. Be patient. Meat grind. That time we got a fling capsule again. We're getting a lot of shot speed off of this dude. Boot capsule for a bit of speed. We did get the sad onion. Nice. Oh, hello there, sir. I was not expecting you here. I love the fact that sometimes it can just be the letter B. That's so funny. We get through to our shop as well here. Nun's habit. While not super, super useful for us, I will take. I could have D6'd both of those, but I think our D6 is better left for other things, to be honest. Right now, I don't think we need to be re-rolling the sad onion or anything like that. Whoa, he got fucking lobbed. Holy shit. Not quite sure what happened there in terms of me getting hurt, but otherwise, things went really well. The bees are really good as well. I can see forever to find two secret rooms. That's so good. Um, converts all your soul hearts into a moral hearts. Um, nah. I, that's, a, that's a little bit of a risk, I think. Meat grinder here. Right, let's play this guy out and see what he gives this time around. Really, really liking this character so far. More damage. We got coffee. Increase damage the faster you move. Nice one. That's pretty good. I think with our current speed, we should be able to get up a good bit of damage. Not tons, but a nice little bit of extra. I'm just trying to exhaust all my options here before I go straight for the boss. Especially, like I said, when I can go... I, I can see forever and I started this floor with Luna. Hey, extra black heart there. Lovely. We got ourselves a strength and a chariot. Uh, I don't really want to spend money on you, I'll be honest. It's not super worthwhile for me. I guess I could just bomb you and see if we get anything cool. Or quite a lot of money, which is also quite cool. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Right. Let's see if we want to end up re-rolling our uh, boss item here. Treasure disc will pop that. Didn't get anything crazy. Especially because we're in Camel Wendy's, he's literally useless, but hey ho. Hey, 
the Mortal Tomb's Revenge thing is really, really hard to see when it's fully charged up, actually. I just kind of flash, actually, when it's, when it's fully charged. That's not so bad. The rest are probably going to blow up. Right, let's keep this trainer going. So far, this character definitely definitely puts a twist. It's, it's very Keeper-esque. It's kind of like the Keeper sort of mixed with a um, Tainted Cane. I really, really, really don't like this room. I'm going to be bombing my way out of this, thank you. It's a terrible, terrible room to, to see. Just very much no thank you. Oh, what kind of noise was that? Right. Let this guy out, see if we can get an item from him. Some more luck upgrades. I like that. Helping us out a lot with our tier effects. More speed. Hey, Honeycomb. I think Honeycomb is actually an item I do want to reroll. And we get Keybomb. Oh, lovely. Activates the Joyful effect, instantly using three Joy Pills within the uh, 10 room period. Will apply a Dicted Pill effect to you until that condition is no longer true. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to try it out. Whoa! Look at my face. What's going on here? It reminds me of the, um, the, the guy, the kid off of South Park. The one that's like, Mimsy! <laughs> The one that's always at Jimmy's, um, Jimmy's summer camp. I definitely think I could die here. I need to be a little more careful, because I am kind of shit in the bed a little bit. That is a tiny planet, which I will definitely take. I realize it's a bad idea, but I'm going to take it anyways. I'm also going to take this tail. I think spawning in the meat grinders is taking full heart damage from me now. I think that's why I've got such low health. But the stats. I want the stats. Not fling. Fling is not a good one to give me. But we got something here. New trinket. Two new trinkets, right. Um, let's have a look. Stat capsules have an increased chance of dropping as a room reward. Um, okay. Chance when picking up a coin to drop a mini stat capsule. Okay. That's decent, I'll take that. Azazel's horn. One black heart. Black heart triggers the on depletion effect when only partially depleted. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, I kind of forgot I had Tiny Planet here. Let's be careful. Honestly, Tiny Planet is not going to be a bad thing for us here. It may seem like a, a bad idea to take it at this stage, but I really think it's it's going to be fine. Also, whatever this visual effect is on these looks amazing. I don't know what's going on with that, but it looks really nice. Oh, dude. Can't keep hitting me like that. Scary times out there. Ooh, I need that red hat. Right, quickly go back. Give me that. Health is certainly not good, but looking better every second at the moment. Stay out of the way as much as possible from the turrets. Ooh, good turret there as well. But it's, we got four looks. So we're getting a lot of good room drops here. I like that. Ooh, stationary familiar that gazes at enemies and freezes them. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, considering I got like, the, the Retribution $3 bill, I'm very happy. Got to see a lot of cool tier effects and have a lot of other cool ones as well, like the sewing shots. It just all came together quite nicely. Ah, I can't even get that. God damn it. Certainly would have been a good one to have. Right, boss time. A boss I'm not super familiar with, which isn't great. 
We, keep, we seem to keep getting planetarium um, items though, which is nice from our discs. The, the boss discs are just super useful. A lot going on, but this guy's dying very quickly, so I'm not that worried. Do, do you remember he has a second phase though? It's kind of a second phase. His health refills, I'm going to call it second phase. Is this attack that's the only one that's really concerning? Because slams into the wall and just fires an insane amount of tears. But he is dead. He got some good items off the bat. And we didn't technically lose any health on that either. Okay, we're good to go. I just want to keep this streak alive. We have an actually one for once good streak going on. Oh, by the way, uh, Revelations is... Um, is Probably dropping the day after you're watching this episode, if I'm remembering correctly. Didn't mean to do that, whoopsie. I thought I had to use those capsules on the floor, but I think they just automatically get used. Hey, demon baby. What about that then? Quite like him. Yeah, be a little careful here. My dude's freezing stuff for me. The shot speed is going wild right now. Lucky Penny there. Oh my god, up to six luck. That's so lovely to see. Yeah, the gazing's really nice. I'm liking that a lot. Also, yeah, I really don't know what's going on with my tiny planet, but they, they kind of reach a terminal velocity and keep keep going. They have a much higher terminal velocity is what I'm trying to say than they normally should have. Like, they, they can reach some insane speeds. I'm not sure what's causing that. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I'm just not sure what's causing it. Gorgon's gaze. Let's keep going. We know where the boss room is, so... I like that enemy that throw little spikes out. That's cool. Feels like we got a little bit of herming with the setup as well. I also love the fact that my ball of bandages is still gold from ages ago. One second. Let me grab that real quick. I realise I do need money, but honestly, at the minute, I don't want to use any HP to get to, to use my mammoth's meat grinder thingy. Good. Laser beam on top of me there. Try and utilize this. Ooh, tier game. I don't know what the other things were. One of them looked like a some sort of new bomb upgrade. Some sort of golden bomb upgrade, so try that out. Indeed it was. It concussed. I don't know what else it did. Tier game is decent, but it depends what effect it gave me. It might actually not be any use during this fight. Okay, Devil Deal, I'll check out because it just takes half my money. I was not expecting to find you here, I'll be honest. You're the one that can't laser beam, though, aren't you? Shh. I don't know if that's easier or harder because I expect you to laser beam, which makes you not laser beaming. Rather frustrating. <laughs> but Lump of Coal is a fantastic item for our setup, so I'm not going to complain. Health is certainly in the red. <laughs> I'd say that, that if we don't get some more pretty soon, we're going to be in a pretty rough spot. Oh, dude, I can just garner loads of flies off that guy. What the hell? I'll try and farm some soul hearts here. Don't think we've got any so far. Nah, sadly not. We can't use meat grinder at this point, unfortunately. Lump of coal should carry us damage-wise. I'm just scared about not damage-wise. As long as we don't go too drastically the wrong way, should be okay here. Your effects are doing good stuff. Damn it, that's not a good room for us there. Have something a little better than that. And unfortunately, I was incorrect. We have not gone the wrong way. We have not gone the wrong way. We have gone the wrong way. 
which is really not great. I don't want to be doing too much backtracking here, but here's what it is. What's in, oh, I should have said what's left in this room. Just a wizard. Wrong way again, though. Oh, god damn. Really need some HP pretty soon as well. Okay, that is Blurt, but that is a champion Blurt that I don't believe is as hard. I think... This is worth it. Potentially. We've not got many bombs left. Yes, that was worth it. Good. A very good item. Even more tears is going to be insane for us. Hermit doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. These guys fire the, the triple shot at me. Okay. We are wrecking stuff because of the piercing. The pin shot giving piercing is such a blessing. Half a soul heart there, that's lovely. Very necessary right now. Okay. Treasure disc. Not giving us anything really of any worth. But, scapegoat, whatever you want to call him, can be kind of useful. He can also be kind of detrimental, but for the most part, I find him useful. Okay, we did take some damage there. We took one hit. Nice. Okay, next floor... Really, if we don't get any health off of these four items, we, we could be in for a hard time here. Okay, that's really good. That is health. I think Pinking Shears is probably the right thing. I saw is really good too. Guppy's Pride. Grants a Brother Bobby style familiar upon pickup. Start very flawed familiar. Tears scale with the player's damage. Okay. Not good right now, but later on that could be good. So any room that looks a bit too difficult... We want to make sure we utilize, um, ooh, double soul heart drop, that's even better. We want to make sure we utilize pinking shears in, a, in a, any rooms that look a bit too tough for us. I'm hoping won't be many. The Gorgon's Gaze thing is helping out a ton as well, actually. A hey, tiny horn, nice. This is a good pinking shears room, I think. Just because just there's a lot going on. Allows us to focus on one thing while Pink and Chia's focuses on another. I think we... Yeah, we cleared the room there. Took a bit of doing, but we got it. Yeah, I don't know what health I'm on right now, but I know that it's a lot better than it was on the last floor. That's all I care about. The amount of damage that we can like stack up right now is pretty crazy, actually, with a uh, lump of coal. Yeah, all the spiders in one room. It's not actually too bad. Yeah, they died pretty damn fast. This guy is not a guy I'm a super fan of, but as you see, the damage is going wild. Oh, damn, I didn't realize he was fully dead. I just kind of stood there. Damage for no reason there. I thought I was waiting for his second phase to start. Ooh. Right. I don't think the boss is going to be this way, but I've committed to this way now, so I have to pretend that it is going to be. I think I'd get hit again there as well. I think we're on three red hearts now. 2020, hell yeah. I think we're on three red hearts right now. I shouldn't have taken Clutch's Curse, to be honest. Clutch's Curse can mess you up. The damage we're doing right now is obscene. Good chance, why not? Might actually be the right way looking at it, you know. Good. A burn heart here. Take it, why not? Um, on use temporarily paralyzes you. Tears up for the current room. Tears now linger. Slow enemies. If an enemy is slow enough, it freezes and resumes normal movement speed after a while. Sleeping grants plus one heart. 
decent. We had active, but decent. All the bees. So many bees. Imagine if they were explosive coins. That would cause quite the quite bit of trouble. Okay, we did go the right way. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Right. Let's do this thing. Hurt myself immediately. Oh, that's good. Just stand in here and see what happens. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, we made it through. I hope you guys enjoyed a first look into Retribution, and I'm hoping you're looking forward to Revelations very soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.